Hello everyone. Hi, welcome to the channel of Wall Street Mojo. Friends, today we are going to learn a, a concept that is called capital asset pricing model. Now, this particular concept everyone is is always interested in because that is uh, exactly used, which is known as your KE. It is used to calculate your KE cost of equity, which again is used in calculating your weighted average cost of capital. That's your VAC. So, capital asset pricing model formula goes something like this. Your, your KE or your RA over here is basically equal to risk free rate that is your RF plus your beta which is the sensitivity of the stock to the market into your risk of the market less the risk free rate. So the risk of the market minus the risk free rate is exactly which is known as your risk premium. So what they are trying to say in the bracket is how much is the amount of the extra return or the extra premium that you will get by investing in the risky assets which will be more than the risk free rate so this is the differential premium and that premium you'll be multiplying with the sensitivity of the stock to the market which is known as the beta this is the exact interpretation of and this is the perfect and the more most crude definition and the explanation on capital asset pricing model formula. Now, if you want to know that the rate of return of a risky asset or a stock, you can use capital asset pricing formula to calculate that. The formula is right in front of you. And I've told you all the details how the things go about. Uh, let's take an example and go about with this. See, let's take a simple capital asset pricing model example to illustrate this as simple as that. Let's say there's a guy called uh, Dominic. Uh, he wants to know the required rate of return of the stock. That is your required rate of return RE of the stock. And he wants to, or we can say as a KE. Now he wants to invest into. So he has gathered a couple of information on the same. The first information he has that the rate of the risk free security that is from the bond, he says that RF is close enough to serve a seven person. Then he says that the expected rate of uh, return of the broad market, that is, he's talking about RM, is 12%. And he says that the third thing, the sensitivity of the stock to the market, that is, we are calling as beta of the stock is, let's say, 0.8, which is lesser than 1. So, a little bit on the downside. By using the capital asset pricing model, we find something like this in the example we have all the information and all we need to do is just to put the information into the capital asset pricing formula see the capital asset formula is rf plus your beta uh, into bracket rm minus rf right so we'll put the same thing in the formula uh, is equal to your rf plus your beta into bracket rm minus your rf once you do this you get your answer as 11 percent right so that is going to be your ke or re whatever definition you used to say so from the above calculation you know, dominic finds out that the required rate of return for that particular stock is 11 percent now, since the capm formula helps one to find out the fair value of the stock fair value of the stock you can also compare the market value of market value and decide whether the particular investment is right for you or not let's see starbucks capital asset pricing model example let's try and evaluate that you will get to know something on a real life example basis see uh, let us calculate the cost of equity using the with the capm formula over here the cost of capm formula is the same right now over here the risk free rate that is the 10 year treasury rate can be good representative so i'm saying that for rf 10 year treasury rate is going to be a good benchmark for the risk free rate now the 10 year uh, treasury constant maturity was uh, let's say over there it, it was 2.42 percent right and what exactly this means it means that an index by the federal reserve board based on the average yield range of treasury security all adjusted to the equivalent a 10 year maturity yield on the treasury security at a constant maturity are determined by the u.s treasury from the daily yield curve 
Now, the next thing that we need for Starbucks uh, example is that the equity risk premium, that is the RM minus RF. Now, the Starbucks was listed in the US and has an equity risk premium close enough to 6.25%. And the next thing that we need is the beta of the Starbucks, which has decreased over the past five years. Uh, that will note from the graph. Let's see that. See, this is how the equity risk premium has been found. The equity risk premium is found by one of the Excel sheet, which Ashwat Damodaran uploads. Uh, he, the source for, is from the NYU Stern. For United States is 5.69. And um, you can say for other things are mentioned over here for all the rest of the countries. So in the similar fashion, you find uh, for the risk premium, then we have to find something that is called beta. Well, for beta, you can see for Starbucks, it's, it's quite visible that Starbucks five years uh, data, you know, there is consistent decline, you know, beta of the Starbucks has decreased over the past five years. And we know that the beta is close enough to 0.794, which has consistently declined. That means from highly risky investment to it is lowered down from one even to 0.794. So with this, we have all the necessary information to calculate the CAPM cost of equity. And the CAPM formula KE is equal to basically RF, RM minus RF into beta. So based on the our formula, we can calculate is because our beta was uh, 7.794, we can say is equal to 2.42% plus your uh, beta that is 0 0.794 into the RM minus RF, which is your 5.69% which we just saw in the Excel sheet. So finally, our answer is uh, six, that is 7% or you can say 6.94%. Let's understand the explanation on the capital asset pricing formula. See, to understand the formula, we need to look at each component of the formula. The first is the required rate of return of the asset or the stock, that is your RE or KE. This is what we are intended to find out. We, are, we intend to find out. So if we find any risk, a risky asset or a stock by using KPM formula, we can calculate the required rate of return. Second, the rate of return of a risk free security. That's your RF. Now, when you put your money into a fixed deposit, you know that your money is safe and secured. Here we are talking about uh, similar risk-free security and its rate of return in the normal circumstances. Third, the beta of the particular uh, asset or a stock. The beta represents the systematic risk uh, of the broad market inherent with the, within the asset. Now, what ex exactly is the use or the, of, of the capital asset pricing model or the importance? See, we use the capital asset pricing formula to find, to find out the required rate of return of a particular asset or a particular stock it can be asset or a uh, stock along with that if you are calculating your vac you may need to use the kpam formula to find out your cost of equity that is your ke on a side note we calculate the vac to find out how much cost of the firm needs to incur to borrow money from the shareholders and the creditors so your capm quantifies the relationship between the risk and the required return in a well functioning market Right now, I'll show you the risk capital asset pricing models calculator. You know how things will change. Just take 10 percent over here. This is just a calculator, sort of. Let's say 1.25 is your beta. Let's say your RM is uh, 15 percent. So you'll get your required rate of return 16.25. Now, if your market rate of return reduces to 10 percent. Your required formula, your required rate is is return is ten percent. It's because your RF and RM is the same, so your required return is also going to be the same. But as your require as your market re return from the market increases, that is your risk premium increases by one. Your required return increases by eleven point two five. It's not just one person. Here there is an increase in one person, but the required return is increase in point two five exactly. Why? Because over here. The risk amount of the sensitivity of the stock to the market. This is the difference. 0.25 exactly is what the extra which has been paid. 
11 minus 10 is the extra which has been paid but over and above 0.25 is also been paid this is how the calculator is useful use it and you will get to know many conclusions out of this now how things have been showed in the excel what we just learned 7 percent uh, rf expected return 12 percent that is your rm and 0.8 is your beta so just calculate in your formula and you will get 0.11 as your capm return thank you everyone